fund that, that truly perfect life. So I think the sooner we get real clear about what real estate is supposed to do for us, the better our lives will be. I can't tell you how sad it is for me, uh, and this has happened as most recent as this past week, have people come up to talk to me that have been in this business 20 or 30 years and they're dead broke. I have to tell you, that is, that is a sad, sad, sad way to, to end an amazing journey and career. I think real estate is the perfect opportunity to leverage you into lots of other opportunities, or it's also the perfect opportunity to keep you on the treadmill for way, way, way too long. And so what I hope to embed in you in this 30 minutes that we have is real estate opens the doors for lots of other streams of income. You just have to know what you're looking for and be willing to step through them. Okay, so number two is the purpose of our business is to fund that truly perfect life. So once you get real clear about how big do you want your life to be, because that's going to decide how big your real estate practice has to be. Okay, so let me ask you this. What's the difference between a real estate job and a real estate business? Who knows? Who knows what the difference between a real estate job and a real estate business would be? One works for you and you work for the other one. You work for the other one and one works for you. Exactly right. And so we have to be real careful because in our language of real estate, in our everyday language, we walk around and say, I have a real estate business, don't we? But I'm going to venture to bet that the majority couldn't leave the business for more than two weeks and not have to come back and put it all together. Uh, our real estate practice has been running, uh, I've been in the real estate business 24 years. It's been running 12 of those years totally without me doing any of the listings or any of the sales. The highest they've hit without me doing the transactions is 360 transactions. They'll do about 260 this year. But the, the difference is I don't physically go work any buyers or any sellers. So what we did was we took a real estate job and we turned it into a real estate business. And when we get a little further in here, I'm going to talk about what are some of the options of multiple streams of income that we actually have available to us as a realtor, as a, in the real estate industry. Okay. Um, and so what's wrong with if we just keep selling real estate? What's wrong if we, if we do it that way? What, what's, what's wrong with that picture? When you get to the end, you're like the person I talked to earlier this week that, is, that has been in 20 plus.